That was the first sin ever directly with Allah. God gives an order and somebody disobeys directly. This dialogue in the Quran shows us what went on. A dialogue between Allah, God Almighty and Iblis. May Allah's curse be upon him. Showing this disobedience and arrogance and his punishment for being disobedient. We mention here the selection from Surah Al-A'raf. It is we who created you and gave you shape. And then we bade the angels bow down to Adam. And they bowed down. Not so Iblis, Satan. He refused to be of those who bow down. God said, what prevented you from bowing down when I commanded you? So the command was clearly also to Satan. He said, I am better than him. He, you created me from fire and him from clay. God said, get you down from paradise. It is not for you to be arrogant here. Get out of here. Uh, for uh, get for you are of the meanest of creatures he said Iblis Satan said give me respite let me live until the day they are raised up until the day of judgment God said be you among those who have respite you shall live until the day of judgment Satan said because you have thrown me out of the way lo I swear, I will lie in wait for them on your straight path. Then I will assault them from before them, from in front, front of them, and behind them, from their right and from their left. And you will not find most of them grateful to you. God said, get out from this disgraced and expelled. If any of them follow you, hell will I fill with you all. So, Iblis, Satan, was cursed by God for his disobedience to Allah's command to prostrate to Adam. Why did he refuse? Arrogance. That is the first sin. Arrogance. And that is why in, it is clearly stated in Islam that Allah does not accept any arrogance from anyone. And with that arrogance, he was cursed and he was punished and he became the enemy of Adam. Because of Adam, he is displaced from heavens, cursed and will be in fire. So that made his anger towards Adam even worse. Now, Adam did nothing. This has nothing to do with Adam. Adam was created. Allah gave the order. Now, why are you angry with Adam? Adam has nothing to do with it. But it is arrogance that throws someone from the straight path. So, that was the start of the hatred between Iblis and Adam. Now, Iblis, Satan, started to think, because of him, I'm cursed. Because of him, I'm thrown out of heavens. So, from that moment, Satan decided to start to punish Adam for what he has done to him. Now, again, Adam did nothing, but that's how he thought. And he decided that I will lead him and his descendants away from the straight path. I will lead them to get away from heavens as much as I was thrown away from heavens. I will make them go to hell like I will go to hell. I will not go to hell alone. 